What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host, uh, Nifty Chris. Just kidding, I'm not Nifty Chris. I'm actually Temple Garden McGee here. And, uh, this pack's pretty unexciting. We could have opened a, uh, a Mythic Planeswalker, but instead we opened a Temple Garden. How much would need to be donated for you to play smooth jazz in the background? Uh, there's no amount, because then I can't... Probably the amount of money I would lose from YouTube... Because all my videos would get demonetized. So, um, that much per month is the amount I would have to, I would have to be paid to play jazz in my videos. Unfortunately, because I did love doing it, I'm going to pick this, take this rock charger. Okay, true fire captain and a legion guild mage. Both of these are good. Um, I see. I hope you didn't take like an Aurelia. That would be awkward for everybody. Someone in the YouTube comments was like, this is not, this card's not that great. And I'm like, no, it's still pretty good. It's a 4-3 for four, 4 with Mentor. That always should deal some damage, so. <laughs> I'm going to take the Legion Guild Mage. I think it's still, oh god, Conclave Cavalier. Alright, well. Well. There's nothing red good in here. So I like this because we can splash it off one Guild Gate. Whereas if we took the True Fire Wizard, I don't know what that thing's called. Then we probably couldn't splash it, whereas now we can just take this and... Alright, well, there's a lot of things. I had to close the app and see... Oh, Force Pitch 4, 56 sweet, sweet modern bucks. It's just easier for me to donate this way. Uh, so I added some to help the price. Fridays work best. Thanks for... Oh, yeah, we can do it. I'll, yeah, I'll try to schedule for this Friday then. Force Pitch 4, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Let me open my thing. And... I will see if we can do that for Friday. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Alrighty then. Oh, Illumina Spawns? That's the best white card you can ask for. You missed the donation? I just got it. Non-MTG related thoughts on the new Hearthstone nerfs? Oh, I actually haven't seen them yet. I just got back today and I didn't actually check. Did they go up today? Let me take a gander. Oh, they did. They Wow. Nine hours ago. Oh my god. The first article that was linked was a Newsweek article. That's hilarious. Wow, Mana Worm costs two mana now? That's funny. It's funny to see this, a card this old getting a nerf. So Mana Worm costs two. Aviana will cost ten now. Interesting. Um, okay, well... This pack is not that great. It's probably just Shield Mate. Two drops are good. This fits in both. I like Crater Maker a lot, but I don't like it enough to get rid of this. And we'd probably do that if we if we. I, I think this is just fine. It's okay. No red cards really that we care about here. Wood Shaper is fine. Call of the Culprit I think is solid removal. It gets sort of a lot of very relevant creatures. I'm going to take the Collar of the Culprit here, I think. We can probably get another Wood Shaper, especially if it just comes back. Oh, I'll take a Prey Upon. Hmm. I don't love Ledev Guardian. I could probably just take Celestia Guildgate in case we are splashing this, then it's probably easier to have a couple gates here. I hope they ripped the nerf on Mana Worm and just rotate it to Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah. That is also a, uh, an option. I mean, but then you get to play with it in Wild and, like... I don't know. I don't I, I don't play a lot of wild, so I'm gonna take this healer's hawk, I guess. I don't think it's another guild gate here. We can just get hawks and then Actually the hawks are good in the The Hawks are good in the Boros deck is what I was gonna say here. I'm trying to focus on a bunch of things at once here. Maybe just two, but whatever. I'll take the guild gate. Mmm, 
definitely take Art's Fun. Eh, I pity the Scorgon is actually playable in our deck. Yeah, I'll take the Gorgon. It seems fine. A lot of people don't like re re Restorer. I actually am fine with having one Restorer in the deck. Hmm. I'll take Might. I don't have a trick yet, so. And I'll take this guy. This guy. Oh, a Celestial Locket. How nice. Oh, look, we did get it. Wow, last pick Healer's Hawk. All right. Everybody, everything's coming up Millhouse. Another Conclave Cavalier. That's probably what we're taking over the Vindicator. This takes a lot to make it work, and this doesn't take anything at all, and it's very, very good. Yeah, we're going to take this guy. Double Clap Cavalier seems pretty strong. Was Giggling Inventor, like, that big? I haven't kept up, kept up with the Hearthstone metagame in, like, a month or two. So I'm actually wondering why Giggling Inventor needs to be seven. That's a lot. That's a sizable. Okay. Okay. Yep, all right, I can see that. <clears throat> uh, when Cavalier dies, it should make a horse and a human token. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, being super good in Arena makes total sense there. I'm gonna take the Sun Home Stalwart. I think it's still very good. If we can pump this guy, we can get a lot of things going. We also need two drops, so. Ooh. Integrity Invention, that's pretty good. Probably just taking that. There's no Celestia cards in here that I really want. Uh, Banneret is not... We're not going to really have a bunch of red mana. We can also probably wheel this Guild Gate in a perfect world. And worst case scenario, this is just a one mana pump spell as well. I'm going to take Camaraderie and hope that we can go a little wide. Have you ever, have you ever told how you got into magic? No, I don't think I have actually. Greasy Cleric, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I got into magic in like seventh or eighth grade. A friend of mine uh had cards and like we didn't really even know how to really play. Um, but the cards were super cool. And I was like, ooh, these look awesome. And they just there was something about them that was just like unthink unlike anything I'd ever seen before. I'm just gonna take this Underrealm Lich and maybe we splash that. We could take Rose Main Centaur too, but I think this the upside in this is way higher. Fifty starving student bits. I don't catch you live often because I'm usually at school working or don't doing homework, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Valterac, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. And so, like, after I after he introduced me to the game, I didn't really take it seriously, but, like, I taught it to, like, a couple friends, like, loosely, and, like, I didn't really know the rules completely. It was very haphazardly. Like, I was just like, this seems like how you play. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, we played, like, 100-card decks. We just put all of our cards in the deck. We had no idea how, like, you should play 60 cards or why or anything like that. It was just kind of, like, very flippant. Um... And eventually, another friend of mine, his name was Chris Carter, he actually uh, played a, like a 60-card deck against us. No, there was another friend, a different friend in middle school. He played, he had, he, he actually cut down like one of my 100-card decks into like 60-card decks. And I played it, and it was like unbeatable against all the friends I was playing against. And he was just like, I was just like, wow, this changes everything. I think it's Inspiring Unicorn, but we kind of want two drops here. Nah, it's got to be Unicorn. Unicorn is such a better four drop. This set is way more fun to watch the draft than M19. I agree with you because I feel bad getting so much enjoyment from YouTube videos without paying for them. Valtrek, you do what you can, buddy. No pressure. Uh, I do want the Boros Guild Gate because I really do want to splash these cards. I don't think we want another Prey Upon. Like, the problem with the Prey Upons in the, the Celestia deck is that your guys are kind of small. 
I mean, we have a couple big guys, but like you don't want to do it with a 2-2 two -two or a 1-3 or a 2-2-2-2-2-2. Two -two 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 -two. These are nice to do it with, but I think I'd rather just have the Skyline Scout here. I'll take another Hawk. I don't know. I'll take a Crawl Foragers. Yeah, Forest Locket. I'm not going to play Peacemaker, I don't think. What's up, Monsonster? I did actually have a pretty good trip. It was actually pretty great. It was good times. Good times. I'll take Pax Favor. I don't know if we're playing this guy unless we can make it work, but I like having the Guild Gate and a Boros Locket. Juicy Psych Melon? <laughs> Did I say that? I'm just going to hit a huge giant dude in middle school. He played 20 Terror in his deck of 100 cards against our 60 card decks. One guy corrected him, then he moved away. Yeah. He, he, he went to Canada. He doesn't go here anymore. Oh, I like a hatchery. Oh, Venerated Loxodon, though. I think Venerated Loxodon is probably better for this deck. Yeah, that seems real good. Man, what are you guys talking about right now? Oh, we're talking about the Hearthstone. Yeah, okay. The Hearthstone. Ah, you kids are talking about the Hearthstone again? Okay. I'll take a venerator lock. Oh, another Luminous Bonds? Yes, please. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. What do we got here that we can have? I don't think we care about a two drop. I think Gateway Plaza is probably where we want to be. Oh, my bad, my bad. Sorry, I get a. Uh, I get caught off guard. We could also take the Guild Gate and play this guy instead, but I really think this is these are very good. I, I like Swath Cutter a lot, but I'd rather take a card that helps me splash the Swath Cutter. And then another card to splash. So I'm going to take this Guild Gate. This also does let us play under Realm Lich. So it's basically the same as the Guild Gate. It's just a little better. Mm. Welcome back. So throwing magic co stream conversations off the rails since 2014. <laughs> good times, good times. I mean, my chat's pretty much open for anything. If you guys want to chat Hearthstone, you knock yourselves out. Oh, a swarm guild mage. This guy wins games if you can activate it. And there's really nothing like I'm. I like fresh face recruit, but I don't think it's great in the Celestia deck. I think the, the Vigilance guys are obviously better because they Convoke, but... Um, <laughs> what if we just, like, splash with this, and this, and this, and we're just, like, four-color Celestia? Hmm. Hmm. I think this is the best card in the pack. I'm not going to play a second pack's favor. I'm not probably not even going to play the first Crawl Foragers. Rose Main Centaur is pretty good, though. It's just so big. That's what she said. Hmm, Golgar Gilgate? Hmm. Hmm. What was my favorite part of the Denver trip? Honestly, just seeing friends that I haven't seen. I think it's this. I don't think we need another two drop. Especially because, like, we're only... Even if we just splash one color, I'd rather have enough the correct colors to... Ooh. Oh, why is this so light? Oh, we don't have any cards that really make this work, but it's. I still think it's... Oh, actually, we have... No, we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have anywhere near enough, unfortunately, but I'm still taking it. 
just in case. I like a generous tray. I got a lot of late cards here. Boros Guild Gauge is Guild Gate? Guild Gauge? Oh, I said Guild Gauge. Which is the better splash? Or do we just not even pick? We'll just put the Healer Hawks in the sideboard. Crawl Forges can go over here. What was my first really competitive deck? That's a good question. I actually don't think I know. I'm going to take this guy just in case. We have a Divine Visitation in the sideboard. Yeah, and Swathcutter Giant obviously comes back like you do. Mm, sure, I'll take another Pax Favor. <clears throat> I was also talking about this weekend about how Arena changes magic from a TCG to a CCG, which is really kind of interesting and almost a little off-putting even for me. Um... Like, I love the trading aspect of Magic, and I think that it's relevant to... Uh, it's a barrier of entry. Not like a bad barrier entry, but it's a way for people to um, understand why good cards are good and bad cards are bad, and, like, the values of certain cards. And, like, if you open a $40 card, it gives you a lot of things to trade for your uh, lesser expensive cards. You know what I mean? Um, so if I want to put, like, a mono red deck together and I open a Teferi, I can probably trade it for the whole deck, you know? Um... Or something like that, you know? But the point is, like, Magic has always been a TCG. And when you can make a Teferi for the same price as a Divine Visitation in Arena, it's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to take out Collar the Culprit. This is 17 creatures. I can probably take out Restore or two. And all of our splashes are only one or the other. So we can actually bring in... I wish I had more Guildgates Matter cards here. Frank has never once played a competitive deck. Maybe that's true. I'd love to argue with you, but... I wish I could play this. The only cards that make tokens are these two and this one Hunted Witness. We don't actually... If we had a Celestia Guild Mage, I might be. If we had a little Dev Champion, I would 100% play it. Just because it's a two-card two combo that very likely wins you the game. I think this deck looks pretty strong. I don't like having to play all these guild gates without actually having a reason. I mean, the reason is splashing, but were you able to get your hands on one of those mythic boxes? No, I didn't actually get one. And then I actually, because I realized they sold out so quickly, I was trying to get one at uh, the GP because you can reserve them there. And they sold out there too. So that was unfortunate. Uh, let's actually sort by color. I just feel bummed when I open a pack, get a glory red card, and find it's a chance for glory or mnemonic betrayal, and I can't do anything with it except let it click. Yeah, because you can't get rid of it. Wait, can you not dust cards in magic? In arena? Because that's interesting. I didn't actually know that. All right, so we have one, two. This is four black sources. There's no dust system? What the hell? That's super weird. This is four red sources. That's really strange. One, two. Wait, why is this in... <laughs> what the hell? Why are you over there? So four, four, five, six, six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can probably go to eight here. Four, five, six, seven. Probably go to eight here as well. All right, let's do this. 
So you just open anything and then that's it. That's it. That's your card now. That's really weird. That's really weird. What 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 digital card game has that as their system? It automatically does stuff. You could play it, but like, who wants a play set? Like, I have to. So if I get a play set of of uh, like like Chris said, uh, Chance for Glory is that what the card's called? Like then I have like my fifth one will dust like but I don't want a play set of this why should I be forced to have a play set of a card if I don't actually want the card don't plan on playing Teferi huh well get four of them and your fifth one can be dusted well that's good point I had not considered that Any black or white source here would be good. We did not get one. Yeah, not being able to just buy the singles is pretty insane for them, though. Like, they just get to force you to buy a thousand packs in order to get a couple, you know, mythics or wild cards. Like, how do you even... So, okay, let's say I wanted a Teferi, right? If I if I buy forty packs and I don't open a Teferi, how can I get a Teferi? How does that work? Explain it to me. Okay, convert a wild card, sure, but if I don't have any of those, how do you get those? So they're in packs, like you can just get a mythic wild card? Land on turn four. I'll take it. Then 18 packs, you're guaranteed one mythic wild card and two rare wild cards. Every six packs gives you a rare, then rare, then mythic. Interesting. That card has to go, and I don't have a way to make it go. That's not what we want. Like, they're 100% taking two here. They're not going to block and risk a pack's favor. I actually think we're too far behind here. Missing two land drops is pretty bad, especially when we have a 5-5 five, five in our hand. So one of my issues with that is that, like, if I'm playing Hearthstone and I open 40 packs, right, I'm going to get probably about, like, let's say three to six Mythics, six, six Legendaries, right? So I can dust those and make the other Legendaries that I want... Little main phase takedown. One out of eighteen packs for one mythic wild card. That seems like Yep. Yeah, this is a lot of nothing happening here, unfortunately. So you get some, in addition to the ones that are in the packs, you get some from opening packs as well. Yeah, 100 packs is still a lot, like, for one deck. Like, if you look at Hearthstone, like, I could probably open 80 cards of a new expansion and have most of the stuff I need, and I can just make the other two or three legendaries that I want from whatever I don't have.
Interesting. I just like the freedom of, like, if I need a card, I'll just go buy it. Like, I'll go to GoatBots, I'll buy the card. If I, uh... If I have a card I don't need, I'll just sell it. Like, it's... It, isn't that so much easier? I don't know. Yeah, it just seems like it's... Mm. Like, it's no must, no fuss. It's done in seconds, right? And, like... I wish there was a way to purge draft chaff on MTGO. God. Like, if you look at my account, it's hilarious, dude. I have, like... 130,000 cards. And most of these... Let's sort by quantity. Can we do that? Sort by... Uh, I don't think you can do that, I guess. Quantity over 20. I guess there's no way to sort by quantity, though. Either way, like, I don't need... 24 copies of Sergeant at Arms, right? Like, why can't you give me something for that? I don't know. Is this Miyoni sponsorship new? I think that's like the first time sponsor thing, right? If so, congrats to Super Stoker Game Path. Yeah, it is new. It's about a week old now. So if you guys are looking for some high quality micromodal underwear, tees, lounge pants, socks, etc., check out the link in the description. Or the link in the chat right now. It's uh, meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. And you get 15% off. You get free shipping and you get free returns. So lots of uh, sweet perks there. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how many times new players dust themselves out of having competitive decks. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't feel like like you just dust all your cards and you're like, oh no, I've dusted too many things. Like, I don't, I don't feel like that's ever. A concern. Like, I also don't think a great alternative is like, hey, uh, you can't get rid of your cards ever, so that's how we stop you from making a mistake. Like, that's kind of like a a pretty tangential benefit, I guess. It's I don't know if that's really a perk. Like, that's kind of similar to be like, hey, in order to make sure you can never leave your trunk open while you're driving, we just made sure the trunk doesn't open. You know, that's kind of like that kind of perk. Like, that new drivers will never be able to drive around with the trunk open because we sealed it shut. And you're like, oh, but I, but I wanted to put stuff in there. If you need new undies, meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. Link is in the description. Link in bio. And it helps me out. It helps you out. Everybody wins. We're at nine. Good lord. This is not going well. Murmuring Mystic is just taking this game over. And it's really sad. Three, four, five... This is a lot. A lot of things are happening right now. I'm not personally enjoying them. Well, fortunately, just having a sponsorship for MeUndies does not make me underwear model. Those are not synonymous, so we're good. I would like to get rid of this guy. I'd also like to have uh, eight lands instead of four. Missing four land drops is pretty brutal, especially when we have a camaraderie in our hand that could have gained us three. But, um, you know, what can you do? Play this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get in there with one guy. We're pretty much dead to all the birds. All of the birds.
Hmm. Rotation is in tears. Billy, that's not that's not really the point though. <laughs> like Oh uh, yeah, it's like Man, what happens uh when all these hot dogs expire in November? Oh, hot dogs expire in December. Uh, all right. W what happens when all these hot dogs expire in December? Wow, they just totally called my bluff. All right. No, you got it. Wish I could hit some beautiful lands. Definitely bringing in this because it kills the Mystic, which is super nice. Um, I feel like the Splash is kind of greedy, but I also feel like it's kind of not. We're just playing Guild Gates, and we have two cards of each color, so I don't think it's super bad. Swath Card Giant also seems insane against their uh, strategy. I'll take out one Luminous Bonds. Well, an eternal format implies that all cards are legal, so there's no such thing as an eternal format uh, that only involves old standard cards. That is not a real thing. Got him. Another green source would be nice, but our deck is pretty greedy. Okay, actually rock into Saratok. Rock and talk, that's what I always say. Either way, like my, I think my biggest issue is that everything that's been in the, going on in the chat in the past 20 minutes or so has been very confusing. You gonna bounce this guy? Oh, that's worse. Why did you pay two for that? Did they click the wrong one? Do they mean to bounce it and actually click the Dazzling Lights instead? Because that would make sense. Edward Dover, I don't know if you're in the chat or not, but thanks so much for the Patreon pledge. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I feel like they meant to bounce this guy. Yep. That's just fine. Yeah, but with the non-rotating form be only... MTG Arena? Because that's weird. Like, you're... It's weird to splinter their audience that much. Like, oh, look, we have modern in real life, and we have, you know, postmodern <laughs> in Magic Online, or in Arena. And it's just like, it's a... Yep, there's the unexplained disappearance. Why didn't I attack with the Rock Charger? I don't know. Here are some confusing chat bits. Purple Monkey Dishwasher. That's Monkey Knife Fight. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm not going to block this guy. I accept your... Sure. Not the color we're looking for here, unfortunately. I think we got a little greedy with this deck. I don't think it's going to work out well for us, unfortunately.
This is a good combo they got here, actually, as well. See if this does anything. I mean, if they counter it, like it's fine. We don't lose our guys, so I don't feel terrible about it. And I could get to kill everything on their board. Sure. In before go, go in, in before we get a guild gate next uh, next turn. I was gonna say Golgari guild gate, but why specify? Any guild gate's pretty bad for us here because we don't get to do anything. Well, that guy's not super exciting. Well, it should be great. This also attacks. This makes it a. 3-5, so we can't kill the Watcher in the... You got it. actually not super great though I mean I don't care about that that much we go to 15 but they take two and it also doesn't affect either one of these cards I'm at a point where it almost camaraderie if we hit another land but I'd really rather get Cavalier out there tireless tractor I did not see you at the GP either as it as it were Feel the pain, notion ring. It's interesting they played an island here instead of just waiting to see if they hit a swamp. Maybe they don't care about swamps. Hot cross buns. Yep, go to 12, you go to 12, everybody goes to 12. 12 all around. If we hit a land, we're probably playing camaraderie here. Yep, that's pretty good. Maybe we can wait. Am I afraid of... Yeah, we're just going to go Cavalier here. I'm afraid of Disdainful Stroke, but what can you do? Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is nice because then we get to resolve Cavalier here. I guess he's saving it with Might of the Masses, but that's pretty bad because it doesn't let us play anything else this turn. My least favorite part about Cavalier here is that if they bounce it, it's pretty bad. But what can you do? Sometimes you just gotta, just gotta deal with it. And capture sphere. Oh, notion right number two. Good lord. This is a lot of scrying and damage. I'm okay with it. <sighs> Whisper agent is the last card in the graveyard. Oh, they kept both. Fascinating. All right. Hmm. Well, 
It is interesting. I guess we'll try for the six here. I guess they could always capture Sphere on our turn. And they're going to. Multiple capture spheres, not deck. Artful takedown. I'm gonna get to deal three here if we don't let this happen. I think that's actually fine. And we get to keep our guy, which is extremely relevant. Goes to a 3 1. Sure. I didn't even realize it was you. Yeah, me neither. It happens. How much is Big Teffrey going for? I have no idea. I have no idea. Now we're going to be real sad if they go burglar rat. Burglar at 49? Oof. It's a hell of a drug. I got a humidifier today and it's the most excited I've been in a long time. I think that means I'm old. Probably. But it's okay. Sometimes being old is cool. Being old lets you appreciate a bunch of stuff that you weren't able to in the past. Like, wow, this is so many notion rains. Some stay dry while others feel the pain ocean rain. Yeah, you definitely don't need a humidifier in Florida. I feel like this is going to be good. I have a good feeling about it. Unless they have exactly disdainful stroke. And they dropped disinformation campaign, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. This worked out. Now we get to 100% resolve it. Or we can play that. We can actually resolve this and keep this up if we want to, which is nice. And they actually have to block something. Camaraderie is watching you. And both these dudes have Vidge. Oof. Oof him and boof him. I'm just going to eat this guy and deal you three. Could deal you five, put you to two. Not loving it. If we had one more land, we could actually uh, venerate Loxon on here, which would be great. Feeling pretty safe at nine, though. Maybe. Chicago is worse than New York. Sorry, buddy. Sometimes you're just wrong. What is this, five? Yikes. Can they kill me here? Do they artful take down us? Tap the big dude, save the other dude. Can they just deal us four? I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, the aggression is real. We really have to hit something here. That's not it. 
Alrighty then. We're not dead. Hmm. We do have to kill this. And then we have two turns because we go up to seven. So they just go block here, block here maybe? Or block here, block here even, just to keep this guy dead. Yeah, Lurcher's pretty sick. I'm a big Lurcher fan. I'm still mildly afraid of Chicago because I got lost the first time I drove to Milwaukee. <laughs> Chicago, you scary. I'm going to attack with this guy. If you want to block here, I get two guys out of it. You, I don't really... Uh, blocking with this guy is bad because then they just... Or attacking with this guy is bad because then they just block here. Oh yeah, do that. Who saw that coming? One, two, three, four. I don't want to risk them having a counter spell for this because we die if they do. So we'll just go to seven. Although forcing them to attack with both because they don't have a way to deal with it is probably stronger. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's a stronger play because then they attack with this guy 100%. Yep, that guy would have been pretty insane with the uh, house guild mage. All right, going to four here. Pump spell, Pax favor, inspired unicorn. That's pretty good. How do they block here? Two two, two two, four four. They take three. They have to block this guy. This is a pretty easy block. And then they can block one here. They have to actually block with both of these guys. So they're probably going to kill both of these guys. Eat here. Eat here. Chump block here. And then take three. That actually seems good for us. Especially when we can follow up with a unicorn. A spicy little unicorn. Yeah, this is an easy. Like it's this is fine, but oh, fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Two, two, one, three, three. That doesn't seem correct, but oh, did they not? Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to play this. I don't see the value of having it in hand. If they hit like a burglar rat or something, it's not great for us. And I guess don't have a plus one. Or maximize altitude just kills us as well, I guess. I don't think they have one in the graveyard, though. Hmm. Don't send chicken to a P.O. box. Probably a solid, Probably a solid tip there. 
Brett with the good with the good strats. Do they really have maximized al maximum altitude? And they're just like slow rolling it? We have no cards in hand. So like, just kill us. I think, did they just concede? Oh man! Woof! Woof! It's round two. It's round one or round two. What's going on right now? Didn't we win a game? I thought this was I thought that was the match. Is that not the match? Is that just game two? Just like one one? Hmm. Interesting. Yikes, this hand is pretty, pretty terrible. This is better. We're going to start with green because it lets us play Guild Mage if we draw black. Okay. This is actually pretty good. I think our... Okay, that's problematic. I think I overvalue this guy, so I think they're going to surveil and draw a card, and it's just miserable. And now we need an untapped black source for this. Uh... Seeing Soul Mike devour a whole chicken is one of the best things I've seen on YouTube. That's pretty funny. Yeah, this is fine. I don't know. Getting rid of Legion Guild Mage with an Artful Takedown is probably fine. If we can hit any... Uh, just a basic Swamp here would be just fantastic. One time. It's not really what we're looking for here, unfortunately. I mean, it's good. It fixes our mana for the future, but it, it sucks having to take a turn off here. Just don't surveil me, bro. Ah, <sighs> yep. That's a good one. Get rid of the guild mage here. I think camaraderie is stronger in the late game and can probably put us back in if we're behind. All right. This is fine. Still no surveil, though, so that's good. All right, now we're now we're in we're in the business. I will 100% trade with your guild mage if you'd like. I don't think you'd like that though. I hope you don't bounce this guy and I hope you don't capture sphere him. That's my hopes.
and you're gonna do it. I thought we were friends, turns out you were just a monster. Still no surveil though. All right, well. And we still get to use the ability, which is nice. And it still counts for our camaraderie in the future. Oh, I do like a prey upon here. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. That's pretty perfect. Which one of these is a stronger card? Probably this guy. Wild Saratok, Colorado. Take that stupid blue... Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Oh, they're going to get rid of our camaraderie. That's really sad. Oh, Rocky Saratog... When you stream tomorrow, 1 p.m., uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, so maybe? I didn't see any Wild Ceratoks, unfortunately. Yep, goodbye, last card, and you can go to four, and that's pretty good. I'll block. I'll block with my Ceratok. Uh, let's take Lunas Bonds. We're going to make him jump. I always kind of wondered why you aren't all operating a psychic hotline because they always see. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you know. I do what I can. Within the confines of Magic the Gathering, anyway. We have 10 minutes, they have 5 minutes. That is a sizable disparity. Yep, that guy's fine. Like, we just play every card we draw. We only have one more 6 drop in the deck. Actually, we don't. I, we have the Swath Card Giant and the Camaraderie in the graveyard. One blue? Oh, maximize altitude, sure. That's fine. They're being quite aggressive now. You're being quite aggressive now. Our odds of hitting relevant cards now is are pretty high. Yep, that's a relevant card. So we put them to two here. <laughs> that seems great. I can't imagine you can deal us uh, nine damage with just this guy. You can keep this guy tapped down, but then this guy flies over, so you have to have removal and tappage. And we also can find um, the burn spell in the top three. I will not discard anything because we're just playing off the top now. Playing off the top is pretty good when you can actually just choose which card you're putting in your hand. Maybe our deck is not as bad. I don't know. Rocky Wilson, hi. No. <laughs> uh, commendable. I like it. 
going out on your own terms. I like it. Nice. What would we have hit? Uh, okay, we could have actually taken the stray and drawn into forest. All right, no big deal. Colorado. I will join this match. I think this hand's pretty good. It says all the things we want for this greedy, greedy ass dick. Oh, this guy, huh? That's interesting. We're playing old Garbage Mage. I feel like we've played Garbage Mage before. Oh, this guy's this guy's a beating against any Boros deck that can't bolster, can't mentor quick enough. That's also pretty good. Pitiless Gorgon or Rock Charger? These are the questions. No blocks. All right, we're doing it. I guess we'll get in there first. <laughs> I, I tried to get a degree in Garbomancy once. How'd that go? What happened? Do tell. Inquiring minds want to know. Rocky Mountain High. I've had Rocky Mountain High by John Denver stuck in my head for like the entire weekend because I was in Colorado. That's a thing. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's the that's the ticket. Shenandoah River. Country road. My land is bad. I can't play this. Or this. I need some guild gates. But it's too late for that. <sighs> Yikes. I mean, if we just get camaraderie next turn and draw three, gain three, that's still fine. Also, those are two different songs. <laughs> those are two different John Denver songs. Yeah, that's fine, as long as you don't give that guy haste. No, he didn't. Yeah, I'll take two from that little nerd. Eh, don't love that, but... attack here we can block here block here mm, block here block here actually we can just pass here pack saber is pretty strong I think did you like venom that's what I think about that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 
Not really that guy, huh? Well, see you later. Mm, okay. This is all sad, but... Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. Okay. Swarm Guild. Oh, all right. Nope, that didn't do it. Actually, Kamari is still a fine choice. We need a second white or a red. So Boros Guildgate would be great, but I really don't want to have to... I guess we can camaraderie next turn, draw two, gain two, Boros Guildgate. Mm. Can I explain what went wrong? I mean, the problem is, like, if you don't read many comics, you're probably fine with it. That's the thing. Oh, Christ. Oh, I'm glad I kept the red creature alive, I guess. Alright. Nice to hit Illuminous Bonds there, but... No lands. Prey upon not ideal in this situation. I will block this guy. Yikes. Hmm. One red here is pretty, pretty stupid. Can they beat like healer's cocks on the on the play? I'm gonna take one force that we actually don't have that much green. Actually we don't need a red here, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight sources of white. Like two white should be four, five, six, seven. What does Collar kill? I don't know. Hitchclaw Recluse is actually probably better than something here. I think the worst sword is War and Peace. I don't love Prey Upon here. It's basically unreadable. It's so long and boring. Uh... I can see cutting the black here. Uh, Collar seems terrible against them. They don't have very many creatures with four toughness. I think we saw one in the, that entire match. I mean, they pump some guys, but it's very rare they're going to pump their guys up to four fours. Like we only saw Legion Loyalist, and I don't even or that Legion Legion Angel, and I don't even want to ask. Actually, I don't even want to kill that thing. What if we take out the black cards? And then we can 
bring in prey upon take out guild mage bring in the stupid healer's hawk actually I'll bring in the restorer and we can submit like that oh uh, yeah we'll keep this hand got a two drop got a three drop I don't like Hawks because if they if you don't get them on turn one, they're pretty terrible. I like that. Additionally, like we don't have mentor. We have like one creature that mentors or uh yeah, mentors, so like mm. Meh. I will trade here. Oh, all right. We did it. I think we just always meant to lose the first round. That's just life. Um, I'm tempted to block here. This guy's not doing us any favors, and this guy is much more versatile in the late game, so I'm just going to block and be done with it. Any land. That's a, that's a real good one. Because now we can play both of these. We can play everything in our hand except for this, but we can even play half of this, so that's actually just fine. Shenandoah River, take me home, borrow skill gate. Get in there. Is it Saratok? It's got to be Saratok, right? Saratok is stronger than Inspiring Unicorn in this situation, I think. I guess that's fine. Eight, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Love you, gotta wake up early. See you on the YouTube. Iron Chef Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. No blocks. Fascinating. Oh, that was a good draw. Command the storm here and block here, maybe? Yep. It's like we predicted it. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, this is all fine. Conclave, Conclave Cavalier is a hell of a card. That ain't gonna do it. Seems good.
Got him! All right, all right. I like this new configuration. I almost want this one hunted witness just because it's two, two, two dudes in one. Yeah, like again, like if we if we drew color of the culprit at any time in that game, it just would have been blank. Like the only thing we could hit was actual nothing. Thank you, JC. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Maybe I want take heart just because it's take heart might be better than might, especially because the life gain is could be relevant. Like gaining three or four life in this matchup seems strong, and we probably don't need more than plus two plus two at any given time. Oh, uh, this hand seems great. Turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. Like, we just have to fade a couple creatures here. I think we'll be okay. Crater? That's fine. Okay, next turn we can go all the things. Well, that's pretty good. That is an aggressive start, but we have a rock charger. Oh, I don't have a way to get rid of my rock charger. Yeah, that's fine. This is the first time that 10th District Guard is actually relevant. That's pretty hilarious. Do they have a sure strike? I don't know. That is the only time I've ever seen this hold the plus. <laughs> oh. I literally just said that. That's hilarious, dude. Take me home to the place. I don't want them to have the 3-3. Three, three. Don't have 3-3 three, three tap, my guys. That's all you yeah, I don't want you to have. It's not even that good. It's yeah, that's fine. That's a three. That's a that's a totally different, totally more acceptable 3-3. Three, three. I wish we could play two things, but unfortunately we're a little backed up on guild gates here. Like, I don't want them to double block here because that seems pretty bad. Actually, maybe that's not terrible. It's still a one for one and we get two guys out of it. Yeah, that's actually just fine. I would assume they just... Oh, wow, that's really good for us. Oh, my goodness. That's like the best thing they could have, we could have ever asked for. Um, play a gate we'll chump block that's totally fine I think we're in real good shape here um, bu -bu 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 -bu
Give this guy a float. So this guy can block here, but then this guy has to block here, I guess. They can go block, block, which is totally fine getting this guy off the board. Oh, no blocks whatsoever. Alright, so we got a bunch of ground dudes. This guy can attack, but we can block. We're at 14. I feel like we're okay. Six mana is scary because that leads to... Un... Uncounterable Blaze. That is a good one. They have three blockers, right? So they go block, block, block. They take four. They go block here. Block here, block here. No, they have three blockers, right? They block the three biggest guys. Block here. This guy just dies, and then they block here, and they go to two. Yeah, they actually have to block. They have to just chump here. They can't. They don't have the luxury of blocking these two, or else they die. We'll also make one of the tokens float, because that means this guy can only block one ground dude, so if you want to block here, that's fine. But if you want to utilize this guy, then this guy's getting through uncontested. So I don't think it really matters. It's probably fine either way. But we're going to play another 3-4. We're going to gain 4, and I think we're way ahead here. But 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, this is pretty much how we thought. You go to 2. You lose all your guys except for the 1. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, play this. Is this right? Uh, play this guy. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is good. Play the whole hand. I feel like we're in good shape, <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, uh, I said big fan. You're supposed to draw like 20 lands. <laughs> good times. Good times. Lucky, 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 lucky. I will take seven. I will not take seven. I haven't been able to catch a live stream in a while, but I've been watching YouTube. JC, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the subs. Even if you're unable to catch live streams, that is super... Uh, means a lot to me. Oh, I got Hungry Howie Bot in the chat. Uh, always a classic. Good games. Good games. How are we 2-0 with this deck? I mean, this, the, I don't know if the Black Splash is even worth it. I feel like it, it was kind of good without the Black Splash last game. No, we added another Mountain. We added one of everything else. So, one, one, and one. Took out Lich, took out Guildgate Mage. Look at us like we're weird when we say things like big floats and sappy boys. <laughs> That's hilarious. So there was actually a moment at the GP, I was playing a side event draft, and uh, this person, this woman, like two two or three tables down, I was like, are you Frank Lepore? And I was like, no. And she was like, yes, you are. I can tell from your tattoo. And I was like, okay, you got me. And she's like, hey, we're big fans of yours. Uh, we watch your stream all the time, you know, and whatever, blah, 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 blah. And um, the next day, um, like her boyfriend and a friend came up to me and said hey like hey we're big fans um my she and they were like my girlfriend actually said hey to you yesterday and uh you know said she was a big fan she recognized your tattoo and then i was like you you can't come to the event now you have to stay home because your 
you're you're fanning over Frank too hard, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. This is uh, <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Either way, they're all they're all super nice, and it was it was a very just a very funny situation, and uh, I got to tell them that I was not actually me, and then they they called me on my bluff. So that was a pretty funny situation, and I don't think the black is worth it here. Really wish we could play this still, but we don't actually have any good. What if we just play this and then we play Divine Visitation afterwards? Um, and then we tack with this guy. This isn't weird at all, but can I get a beard hair? Uh, if you want to pay sh shipping and postage, I'll send you a beard hair. Maybe. Should that be a Patreon reward tier? I'll uh, I'll just give beard hairs to people uh, on re on demand. What if Sumala Woodshaper is good here? Like we have, maybe we'll play that. Yeah, the beard tier. That's good. This could be a thing we do. Maybe I just want another Pax Favor. Nine hundred Russell be clean shave. How many hairs make up a beard? That's my question. I'm gonna take this hunted witness and put it in, I think. What does the pot pie tier even imply? Do people do I give do I give pot pies, and then I, then I trick them into sending whole chickens? <laughs> Got him. He might want to clone me. That's true. This is so tempting. Even though we have nothing, we have nothing. We can't. We can't play it right. It's just too. It's not. We have this and this. Right. This is the only cards that make tokens in the deck. Yeah, we can't. It's not an option. I have to. No. There's an angel in that mustache. We got an angel in that mustache, boy. Hajigulashi, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I worry that my channel is uh, sustained solely by gifted subs at this point. I'm not sure if that's sustainable. All right, whatever. We'll try the Hunted Witness here. Oh, the old chicken pot pie chicken gambit. A classic. I just got an email about uh, loot the Diablo 3 bundle for Nintendo Switch, and I'm like, oh my god. Diablo 3 came out what year? 2012. Six years ago, Diablo 3 came out, and uh, Blizzard's like, Diablo 3 bundle for the Switch, and I'm like, but that's a six-year-old game. Just make a new Diablo, guys. Come on. You guys remember when I was hanging out in the bits? Oh, purple rain? Purple rain, purple rain. No shun rain. Wow, triple, uh, the little triple forest draw, a classic. How long was it between Double 2 and Double 3? Uh, I want to say, off the top of my head, I'm going to say 10 years. Let's find out. Diablo 2 came out in 2000. So, 12 years. I was close. I will keep this hand. Yeah. 
you can leave. I am good on red sources deck. Oh wow, please give me two green sources in a row. Okay. I'm really awkward. So I was thinking you should play my deck on Wednesday because I'm super self-conscious about sharing it and I figure most of your channel will be on their way to Canada to smoke weed on that day. Okay, so let me see if I can... Wednesday should work. I will put Wednesday. Okay. Okay, I think we're figuring things out here. Please give me a green. Okay, another. That's good. Well, these guys are never getting cast because our deck just doesn't want to produce any green mana. That's unfortunate. Another red. Okay. Well. Oh, boy. A green would be nice here. We can play Rose Mane into Swath. All right. One time. One time, not a guild gate, just a green mana. They got a crab. Okay, green card. Absolutely wonderful. doing good here yep just a fantastic interactive game of magic the gathering against the wish coin crab Wojak bodyguard deck you know like you do Four mana. You gonna kill my two two? <laughs> oh boy. Arc Light Phoenix. Seems good. Yeah. Alright. That was a fun game. I had a good time. I was able to play Magic the Gathering against my opponent. And uh, oh look at Forest. How nice. Let me get a second forest. No, another another planes. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Protecting and mentoring that crab. Come, crab. I'll teach you the ways. Is sorry so late? <laughs> TJ, believe it or not, there was no set time that you had to be here, buddy. Legion Guild Mage is not good. Legion Guild Mage is fantastic. What are you, are you insane? Are you not smart? If I'm splashing for it, it doesn't have to be a two drop. Like, I hear, look, it's five drop now. It's a sick drop. Cool. It does fantastic things. It gives you some reach. It taps guys down. It's, uh, it's just fine at, at lots of different points. I will play first. Yeah, all right. This is playable. Why not all the guild gates? I just don't like having six lands that come into play tapped. Because I like to play things on curve. I actually don't like having this many guild gates, but what can you do? That's guild gate life. I mean, on the bright side, we can cast anything that's not red. Red card. Amazing. No, I'll trade with your Beam Splitter Mage if you want. Oh, they did want. Don't have Disdainful Stroke. They didn't. This is good stuff. Oh, look at the little crabby. If they block here, do we pump and not play Unicorn? 
probably. Like playing unicorn when we can't protect it seems pretty bad. They can just like direct current the unicorn and then we're just back in the same position, so. Shut up and take my money. Yeah, and Tokyo Rain, it's the spookiest month of the year. Thank you so much for the spooky bones. Ten spooky bones. Really appreciate it. Well, this is sad. So long, little Saratok. Discarded a Rubble Belt Boar. So it's basically like they traded in combat, but our opponent didn't have to spend the mana to do it. Well, you know, missed two land drops so far. That's uh Purple Rain, Purple Rain. Another beam splitter mage. Luma spawns on this guy seems pretty good. There's another situation where I'd like a land, but... We had a literal 48 degree temp drop in Austin in 14 hours, 88 at 7 p.m. Yeah, it was the same in Denver. It was like 43 or 50 at uh, like 11 p.m. And then it was like 18 degrees. And I was just like, oh, wow. That's something. If you attack with both, they just block here. That doesn't seem great. I'll just pass here. I don't think they're winning this match, unfortunately. I feel like they're a whole little bit ahead. JC, have a good night, buddy. Really appreciate the support, as always. Well... A mountain by itself would be pretty amazing. Yep, they're getting way ahead with the flyers here. Pretty sure you just attack for six here, right? And go to 12, and take three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm hmm. You got it. That's pretty good, I guess. So yeah, I'm 10. I have 10 in floats. If we can hit a land for camaraderie next turn, we're probably in good shape. We can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, they'd have to have, even if they had Sure Strike, it's 11, 12, 13. It's only one copy. And we'd have to chump block here, but that would require them alphaing as well, so. Camaraderie for five, draw five, plus one, plus one seems pretty good. This is actually fine, I think. Yeah, any untapped land. Mountain would be great, but any untapped land really does what we want it to do. Yep, that's all they needed. So they hit it here. It's fine, we'll chump lock. Do they even alpha here, I wonder? Oh, they just attack with this guy. That's interesting. They just attack with these two? Six. <whistles> this is 17. Okay, that's 15 exactly, so we have to block. I think we win if we hit an untapped land, which is pretty insane. 
Because we'll mentor onto this guy so they're all four power and they can block one so they take exactly 12. Untapped land one time. It's really not a lot to ask for. Yeah, so, Billy, I think I think if I was only splashing this, it's not worth it. But we're already splashing two other red cards, so I think this is just an easy inclusion in that situation. But I definitely agree with you that, like, by itself, it's not worth splashing. Mm -hmm. So, just to be clear, this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 15 exactly. So, if we were able to block... Yep. Jump you, land untapped. Nope, don't get to win. All right, that's cool. Because now they just block here, they take four, eight, they take three, six, nine. Awesome. You can block here, we take one, two, three, four. Yeah, we still take, still take a million. Oh, actually, hold on, this guy pumps, doesn't he? Wait. This guy still wins us the game, right? This still wins us the game. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Wow, that was great then. Yeah, I guess I should... <laughs> Unicorn has text. I totally forgot. I thought I can... I thought I took the 1-1 one, one into account, but I guess I did not. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. All right. A lot of floaty boys. cards they have text all right collar actually hits the well hits the one one or it hits the um not the one one the three four it hits the crab hitting the three four might be worth it it hits, also hits the um the stone dude <laughs> the stone dude What's the stone dude? Um, the rampaging guy that gets bigger. Shut up and take my money. Bu -bu -bu big floats. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. This hand is not very good, unfortunately. Oh, this hand is actually worse, but I'm. Not gonna go to that. Actually, is a decent top deck for this terrible, terrible hand. All right, if we can draw no lands for the rest of the game, I'd actually be satisfied. I'm very happy with six lands. Okay, well. Looks like we're not going to be collaring the culprit anytime soon. Swathcutter Giant is pretty good next turn. Five damage is hard for them to deal with unless they have exactly Command the Storm. Which they probably will. This is where they go boop and five. The old boop and five. Oh, or they can actually hypothesis as well and then shoot for one, which is... 
Oh, no, they can't. Well, yeah, no, they can. That's four and one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look at all these tiny things they've taken. Um, we're going to put this on. Probably you. Okay. What's it going to be? Sure strike, kill us in two turns. They know they can search for both an instant and a sorcery, right? I guess we'll find out. Yes, they do. Oh, boy. Sure. Our record is currently 2-0, and we're in game three. Can I get a Richie boy? Or a life gainy boy? I don't think that's going to do it. I think we're probably dead. We got four, five, six, seven. We play this for five. Yeah, pretty sure we're dead here. I mean, you can also just you can just do command record, and it'll tell you my record. Having a banner to update during chat for like, I mean, like I don't know how to even update that. Like that seems super super inconvenient to have to like update a banner every every round. Yeah, we're just dead to this guy. He attacks for infinite and then one, two, three, four, and then threes us. So maybe they won't though? I don't know. I mean, it's mostly just because it's right there in the chat. Like, it's, it's, you can just check the record at any moment. Well. Yeah, these games were not great. What did you think of the movie Watchmen? I liked Watchmen a lot. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below. For $1 a month, you can get all the free content that I provide on Patreon. And by free, I mean $1 a month content. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for the support. Really appreciate it.